Miaje. Miaje. Welcome to another episode of the Miaje Vibes Show. Kama kawaida, I'm your girl Fatma. And this African girl Pauline. So we talk about trends, music, and the latest fashion. And if you want to know more, we got you started. So this week we'll be doing things a little bit differently. Instead of doing events first, we're going to be doing music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about DJ Catrix and his tweets that has left many of us including yeah. me i like to call it a heated conversation though because they made so much sense it was a twist <laughs> let's just say <laughs> okay, so that katrix went on twitter and he was like we can't progress uh, with our kenyan music mm -hmm. if we don't have an identity mm -hmm. we can't progress if we are calling our music locals and many like what are different with that <laughs> okay i really don't like let me not lie <laughs> what frasha and antonio sol went ahead to talk about and okay fr so frasha basically said that he doesn't feel like that's the big problem with kenyan music yeah. it's bigger than that it's like big. us not supporting our own music and that's a problem so what is your opinion do you think, think we should have an identity i think we should like he's a dj so i think he mm. knows what he's talking about so every single time we uh play our songs mm. we get to hear of you know people wonder what mm. kind of song is that oh so you're is saying like Kenya just because South africans have cake quito and tanzanians have bongo we should yeah. follow suit and have like a common sound true because someone like willy pai mm. he's always confused to be a uh, nigerian no one no sorry <laughs> no nigerian uh tanzanian no. and no one knows that he's kenyan simply because mm. he has chosen to take i beg to differ you know the problem is that on. tanzanians all of them like speak kiswahili Nigerians have all of them speak pidgin. South Africans have a sound, but Kenya has 42 tribes and mm -hmm. each tribe has its own language. You can't tell me you're going to put all that into one sound. It's what Antonio Sol was saying that you can't box an entire country's music into one because it not only divides but it limits the creativity of the artist. Yeah. So, on to our next story. Mm. We're going to talk about barbecue live. Mm and that has left most of us wanting to look for me <laughs> and uh, you will not find me baby yeah, usually do the fashion segment and apart from the hairstyles we're going to be looking at a bit of the dressing yes, too yeah but let's start with the hairstyle yeah so like, really, some highlights we had are like the chick who did the bantu knots <laughs> yeah and i actually like that because rihanna also did the bantu knots mm. uh, at the i had did, did you see did you see how rihanna's were done yeah. seriously if you went to our blog and you checked out our story i'm pretty sure you no, saw girl, it i think we can't all be rihanna so if i do something rihanna did it but i want to do it fatma's way so come on then do it, it well, well. <laughs> she did it well. professionals who can oh, do so that where do you think she went wrong the color the way they were so small. Yes, so like Rihanna did big one to know. So you want me to do big ones to know, girl? I choose. No, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm not saying that she should do small bantu one. Uh, not. But uh, let's just, you know, let's just yeah. accept reality. So, yeah, I think what she's trying to say is that before you embrace that hairstyle, you say it all the time. Just look yeah. at how it will suit you. <laughs> Try and modify it. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's like hair. I decided to go on short hair. Yeah. Really. Then you, you also went home on this chick who had like Afro kinky, but they were like half and done and. These are the <laughs> chicks we normally get at our events. Yeah. A chick is not decided with whether she wants to have mm -hmm. her braids on mm -hmm. or she wants to undo them. And it leaves me and wondering. Think you still have a problem with chicks doing half of something. Like you had a problem with the girl who did the mohawk and she had like shaven half of her head. And <laughs> Everything she had about that girl <laughs> was complicated from her dressing. I hear one of her shoes was <laughs> on stage. But we are not going to talk <laughs> about talk that. About but that. we're going yeah. to be telling you guys. When you decide to do something, decide mm. if you are plating the old head, if you are undoing your hair, yeah. like, you just and decide. Please, yeah. yeah, let's come to fashion and yeah. talk about um, these three ladies who showed up mm. with they were really that, looking and that was a really right. nice shot but they could oh have me the yeah, they were always were, getting it right they were looking yeah, awesome yeah. apart from some who just decided to come <laughs> naked dress naked and is it even dress what do you naked? mean dress naked though this, there's a chick who had nothing i think she had what do you mean nothing? it's like she had a top mm on and she was like yeah this is a dress mm. please but they are top dresses people do them all the time you can do tights mm. you can do um leggings mm. you can do stockings yeah i please people we, we get that you're trying to turn up for a party and you're supposed to look funky uh -huh. but when you overdo it, it becomes a problem oh, like, there's no problem it should still be decent yeah trash is better than trash you all the time <laughs> True. That's what I think. and one thing is, is that okay i didn't criticize because mm -hmm. her dress was really short and mm -hmm. all. i think it's if you want to go out your boyfriend or yeah. your friends mm -hmm. 
at night that is fine yeah. because like I can, it was a day event it was a day life was a day yeah. event so at the end of it all you don't want people to be looking at you like what was that chick even thinking and when we go ahead and call you ratchet you want to <laughs> look for us Please. Yeah, the uh, problem with people looking for <laughs> Yeah, her. I think yeah. I think I've been looked for Sana. So next event, be sure we're going to cover it on fashion hair. Yeah. But we have and to give the uh, credit to all those who dressed up well, looked funky, yeah. candid. We love what you're doing and the next Becky Live is probably going to be bigger. And your mm-hmm. photography will always be there to, to have you all the moments. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about this girl Lupita. She's had a really interesting week. <laughs> I'm not talking about Lupita. Am I? No, we'll go start with the good ones first. Like she got to meet uh, Barack Obama and the first lady Michelle Obama for the white uh, correspondence. Okay, what's so good about that? She got to meet the president of the United States. That, that's Just like the most powerful man no, in I the world. It was going to happen. Yeah, right. Either so way. we are going to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> My dreams are valid. <laughs> yeah, her dreams are valid. But uh-huh. I think what has trended more this week uh, concerning Lupita is her, the green shirt dress she wore at the <laughs> Met Gala Awards. Fishing net. What do you think about that? I think it's a fishing net. No, really? sorry. I know it's all Prada and all <laughs> whatever. Yeah. It is a costume party. So no, what? I think I think Lupita got it right. That's what you want to say. Well, let me tell you something. Mm. Before we move to the part where she looks good in everything, this girl will do a suck and still slay. Oh God! No. Yes. She did a fishing. But before she did, we she go did. to that, the theme of that party was it was the Beyond Fashion event, a costume gala. You get that part where they say costume gala, right? Yeah, but let okay get my facts right. Why I'm still waiting on that drive? Mm. The fact that it's. Prada, <laughs> the fact that it's Lupita, the fact that it and the like a fact net. that it looks like a fishing net, chocolate mint. That's what people are saying. They look the really ones. good. Okay. As much as I'm going to say with Lupita and say she's the only one who got the theme right. Yeah, yeah. I'm Kenyan like that. No. She's the only one who had the costume thing going <laughs> on. But Lupita, you should have lost the headband. Oh my god. Try issues that really? a little bit. Are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you going on the I'm going on the whole outfit? No. Nothing was the outfit correct. Good. So I think what they were trying with the whole meshy thing, uh-huh. green, mm, uh-huh. looking like a mermaid. I love what Kenyan said that she's missing Kenya. We get you, sister. We, miss we you get too, you. Though. Yeah, we miss you, but Please, you can't go yeah. showing how we fish in but, Kenya. Okay, that's your opinion, Pauline. But yeah. the dress was actually received with mixed reactions. Mm-hmm. And if you look at Lupita's timeline, there are those who thought Lupita looked good. <laughs> no. Of course, I was among those who thought Lupita looked good. She could have done better. But you know, then again, every day can't be Christmas. No, 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 no. Lupita started setting a high, yeah. high. You know mm-hmm. that high level. She was yeah, there. Yeah. So when she decided to do the costume, yeah. you know, everyone thought, eh, yeah, maybe think, but she, she took the costume thing too literally. Uh, and yeah. I don't see a problem with that. No, because if it's supposed I to be a costume event, come dress up in costumes. So our girl showed us what costumes should be like and <laughs> she did it good. Uh, but I'm not sure there's anyone <laughs> who's going to repeat her mistakes. Yeah. Because looking at it, it was a costume party. Mm. We know mm. people like Rihanna. Mm. Mm. Rihanna can come dressed, you know, the most important yeah. place. Mm. She can come looking like a clown, but yeah. that. Oh, but the only on, still on the same night, mm. uh, Rihanna and Beyonce. The same thing is called the limelight. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. It was a costume party, and, and mm. this brings us to the end of uh, Niaje Vibes Show. Till we meet again next week. See ya.